These are going to be the tumblers you'll need from the dealership if you plan to rekey your box or buy new boxes. Each side case has three tumblers, so both side cases is six, and the top case has two, all the same part number. You get some limited instructions, but really the biggest takeaway is A is for the ignition, and you can see that part right here, number three, is what's different between B. So we're just focusing on B because it has this tab here, and this little tab key has to do with it securing itself inside of its housing. Hopefully in most cases, this kit will come with everything you need with some extras. One thing the kit does not come with is any kind of lubricant. And we'll put that on at the end. This is the last one I'm doing. And as you can see, these are all extras. So that's real handy. We'll keep those for later. So as I empty that, what I look for is this right away. That is this tab here. We're gonna put that in right before we insert it into the lock cylinder. So we'll set that to the side. Let's take a look at the instructions and verify which side is which. So that little tab we set to the side goes in the last place. So as you look at this, this side here is not the last place, it's this side. So this is the way they're holding it, just like that. So next what you'll need to do is get your key. Just verifying that it's clear debris and it works. As you look at your key, you can start to read the key as you go through this. And you're simply going to start with the first area. And that is, you know, it doesn't matter if you start in the front or the back. But if you drop, you want to drop your spring in. And you want to find which one's going to work for you. So let's drop a number three in. Does a number three work? No, it does not. It does not work. You can see here, it's hanging out the bottom by quite a bit. So, let's try a number two. Does a number two work? No, it does not. There it is in the bottom again. Two is no good. The good thing about this, these lock cylinders is it's just one, two, or three. So you have three choices. And you go through and you try one at a time until you get nice and flush. And there it is. So this is a number one, okay? Number one. Now, I already went through all of these, just like this, one by one, and wrote them down. You can draw a pretty picture. And so we are number one for right there. And you keep going. Again, just a reminder, this is gonna stay empty. The one all the way in the back, stay empty. We'll do that at the very, very end, right before we stick it into the box housing itself for this. So I will continue on. I'm not gonna keep showing you and writing down the numbers because you could then come open my boxes. <laughs> now be careful, if you go upside down, everything falls out. So keep that in mind as you're building this. Okay, so there's my top row. Again, leaving that blank. So let's see how I did. Nice. Flush there, flush there. So that is good. Now we're going to roll this over. Another thing to note, when the key is in, it's not going anywhere because the key is going right down the center there. So now we're gonna go do this side. Very important, you use some tape or your thumb, but keep, or, or, or finger, maybe I'll, I'll go like this, okay? You gotta keep pressure on the bottom. 
or you'll lose all your work. Now, I've heard some people only put a couple of these in. Because you only need a couple, and it, yeah, it will lock, but I just figure if they're gonna give me all of these, then I'm gonna go for it. So let's see how I did. Light bulb. I got it all right. So the only one we're missing is this guy right here. So as you put the key in and out, if you pinch it really tight, it'll give you a hard time about getting the key out. So lightly put your finger here and hold more here. And then I kind of push off with my thumb. And then there everything is. Always keep your fingers on these guys. They'll shoot across the room or they'll fall. Time to put these suckers in the bike. You got to put this at the very last one. This is the one that is missing the bottom, if you will. And this is the part that actually secures it inside the, uh, the latch, the lock itself. So that goes in the very, very last one is looking at the instructions that you keep out the second to last one, one on the opposite side of the retention clip. So heads up on that. Um, I typically try to lube. This is a luber plate. I don't, honestly don't know if this is going to be good or bad, meaning is it going to just leak out and make a mess? I do know they sell certain lubricate, lubri lubricant for these cylinders, but I, I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to put this in and kind of like a putty knife spatula. I just smash it down in there. Uh, I will tell you this, the top box, I had the top box, the bike came with the top box. I pulled the, I pulled these out and I re-lubed them and they work great. They were a little tight before. So I do like how this is lubricating, but I don't know what this is gonna look like long-term, but I can always pull them out, clean them, do it again. The very last one, drop the spring in. Drop the retention clip in. I'm kind of making that name up. Probably a proper name. Some kind of German. And now that's ready to put in. So there we can see where it goes. And that retention clip goes all the way in the back. And that's how you pull it out if you need to release it. It really only goes in one way. And I, I just kind of start just like that. And there you can see the mechanism that closes down in and locks. And that's it. Wanted to show you real quick how to pull these out. Maybe you uh, bought the boxes used and you wanna, you wanna re-key it. So you're gonna need some kind of hook tool and that last that last piece is gonna be right in here so I just need to slide up there and and then push back and then you can see it pops right out and that's what you're pushing on so the hook tool is just sneaking in there to get it and it'll pop out and we put it back in just kind of jiggle that around because it needs a push and it's back in Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. Thanks.